Hey guys, welcome to my biggest train adventure yet. We are gonna go to York, Pennsylvania to the York Train Show, one of the biggest O-scale train shows in North America. I'm going to be going with my buddy, Matt Rochford, and my buddy, Jason, as we go across the country, not only to buy awesome trains to take home, but to also meet some of the biggest names and some of our bestest friends in the YouTube train community. We'll also be stopping by two layouts, Chris's Trains and Things and Sid's Trains. And we're gonna check out their layouts and get to hang out with them as well. We'll also be stopping by some of your favorite Pennsylvania Railroad attractions. So, that could mean anything up from the Strasburg Railroad to the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum, and anything in between. So I hope you're just as excited as I am, and let's go. Three friends taking on the world together. Big plans in a bigger world. I still kids, afraid of being young forever. Young eyes watch life unfurl. Why do you sit there sighing instead of trying one more Alright guys, we are on the road to York and it has been quite a journey. Uh, we are currently coming from Ohio right now. We had a bit of a stop here and there. And I am here again with my good friends up front. We have, up here we have Matt and up there we have Jason behind the wheel. Um, hi. You can't see their faces, but you can see the lovely backs of their heads. But, uh, there's Matt. Hey! Hey, Matt! <laughs> but we are headed to York, and we are all ready to have a great time meeting up with our buddies over on the East Coast. It's gonna be a big meetup, and we're also going to be coming home with very, with a loaded, with a loaded, uh, trunk of a car, and very light wallets. But, how, how have you guys been so far? Any? Any highlights? Any any comments, concerns, questions? Um, you know what? Uh, so far, it's been uh, it's been really fun. You know, time has been passing by really quickly. We are making yeah. good time, uh, and uh, we're just having fun. Oh yeah, it's oh, just yeah. going by real fast. It's all the drive and whatnot. Like it doesn't feel like it's been as long as it has. No, it, it generally feels like we've been on the road for what, maybe like what four hours tops at this moment. It doesn't yeah. feel like it feel like we've, we've gone crazy. So, all right, well, we got a long, we got a long way to go in a short time. Short time to get there. <laughs> well, we're gonna get on our way to York. So, catch up with you at the next. So we're here at the York Fairgrounds after a very long drive. Matt? Hello. We made it. We made it here. We're safe. Uh, we are currently trying to get early registration because if we try to register tomorrow, we will be here at 7.30 in the morning. And I don't know about you, Matt, I fancy sleeping in for once. I would prefer to sleep in, yes. Yeah. I mean, still going to be here early uh, anyways, but you know, at least we get a chance to have breakfast tomorrow as well because if we leave early, we're not going to have breakfast. Correct. Uh, Jason's back here struggling to find his TCA information, but uh, I'm, I'm right here. So, we want to meet up with GFW, I think. Yep, yeah, I see them right there. There's their, uh, oh, see, there's GFW trains. So that's uh, George and Molly's over there. Okay. So we'll head over there and we'll annoy them at, in a little bit, but we're going to get our stuff. Catch you guys on the other end of that. Oh, Alright guys, so we are officially registered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For York. And this is the end of Thursday, so we got here. We didn't really get to work around much, but um, we got a preview. What's their mat? Yeah. Actually, both mats. So what What are your first impressions of York? This well, I ran a second I got here. <laughs> I got a told by a little birdie a certain locomotive I've been chasing down for the last, I don't know, five years. It was sitting there for a price I couldn't refuse. Johnny and Matt here can attest. I whipped out my cash so fast. I didn't even think the person would talk. They were the dealer was talking to me, and I'm like, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. And I'm like, here you go. I, I had to count his money for him, but I'm 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 in, I'm in, I'm impressed. Matt, uh, amazing. 
Yeah. I can't. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. scared, but looking forward to tomorrow oh, because yeah, I don't want it. My wallets are in witness protection. <laughs> it's gonna be gone, dead. <laughs> but I'm also here with uh, with Blake. Hi. Blake is a guy I've been watching on YouTube for a long time since he was reviewing Wendy's trains on the staircase. <laughs> so to finally meet I him in person. Where yeah. Which way are we going? We don't want. I want to block up traffic. Yeah, yeah let's go because everyone's high tailing out. This this was New York. I want. I want to be gone, but uh, yeah. So a lot of people here. <laughs> got, a, got a lot of people here, and I'm pretty excited. So we're gonna check out a couple more halls, and I'll see you guys at the GFW tailgate. Till then. We are actually here in the Orange Orange Hall, correct? Yeah, Orange Hall. Orange Hall at Lionel's booth. So I'm here with Maddie C once again, and it is surreal to be here. I'm 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 pumped. I'm this stoked. is just one hall, and we were we were in silver before. This is this is just the tip of the ice, not even the tip of the iceberg yet. So you got so many more halls to check out. It's once you see tomorrow, you're gonna understand why this is one of the best shows in the world. I'm gonna cry. My wallet's gonna cry. But like, look at all these. We got all Lionel's, uh... This is some of the new stuff that's been released, or is about to release. So you got the, the new Pacemaker Mohawk over there, and you got the new 3001 re-release, and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, these are, these are really cool. So I'm gonna get some better shots for you guys to see what's here, but I am excited. I am excited. Jason... I'm very worried. He's very worried, because he's gonna go broke. And we're gonna see how broke he is. Witness protection as of today. You guys are fair. screwed. This is not fair. It's very fair, and it's very no, funny. It's, not. it's very funny. I so, I will see you guys I love in a that. second. Exception. Look at all this. We can play this cameras and cameras. That's great. This is going to be the new Vision Line Class A. Now, this is a uh, 3D printed show, so it's not perfect, but just the idea of the fact that this is going to be made is awesome. I'm really excited with my entire being if I want to get one, but it's really awesome to get to see it in person here in Orlando. going through a couple buildings, oh, one or two buildings at York. I'm here with Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt, Johnny. You and I are leaving with uh, significantly lighter wallets. Yeah. Well, not it's significantly, only, but... And it's Thursday. It's Thursday. We, we were like, oh, we're yeah. just going to look, and then Matty C's like, well, one of the halls is still open. And, Dang, uh, Matty C. Yeah, he's always sabotaging us. God, making us, making us spend him. We'll get, we have to spend his money now. That's right. Get even. Well, he kind of did already. You know, Jason was, uh, so, so all the Long Island guys, um, Matty C., Blake and his brothers were like, you gotta buy, no, you gotta buy a K-Line tank engine because that's what Maddie C got. And he's like, no, no, I don't want to get it. I'm like, Jason, the Long Islanders, you're not gonna win. There's four of them versus you. It's, yep. it's statistically impossible for you to, to say no. It's gonna <laughs> happen. He's gonna walk away with one. And if not, yep. I'd be very, very disappointed. But I got some stuff, uh, which I will go and show when we get back. But you, you also got stuff, right? I did, and I will show that when we get back as well. 
All right, so we are going to go ahead to the tailgate. We already said hi to some of the guys who were there already, but I'm going to pull them on camera and make them feel uncomfortable. So <laughs> we shall see you guys there. Later, guys. All right, guys, we are here at the GFW tailgate, and I've got some special, special guys here who are going to be trying their first Chicago dogs. And you, you guys were assisted by uh, Rochford, right? Yes. Okay, so Rochford is a genuine Chicagoan. I'm a West Chicagoan from the suburb of West Chicago, so I'm not a true, not a true Chicagoan. But you make it your creation. Wally, Wally's guide and Blake do it over here. But it's been a lot of fun here. So far, so good, man. This has been an amazing time. Everyone is kind of only day one. Yeah, I know. Look at that. There's still a lot more to go through. Look at everyone here. Uh, tomatoes? Not yet. So, Henry, fill it on my phone. If you like tomatoes, you don't like tomatoes, don't do it. Um, onions? So, Wally's literally just, just walking them through the steps of all of it. I, I got a hamburger because don't shoot me. I had a, I got a Chicago dog yesterday. So, but maybe we'll have them later. Mustard, you like mustard? You don't like mustard? Don't but, uh, we'll see. We'll see if these guys like it or not. Did you see those on you? I did. Let me get the full experience. So, all right, hit the court, Henry. All right. All right, so this is the first time trying a Chicago hot dog. I've never had one in my entire life. I heard a lot of things, some good, some bad. So here we go. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Should be on your phone. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Right, there it is. Uh, you know, first, all right, thumbs up. Thumbs up, hey! That is very good. You eat it with the, you eat it with the boat, so you, you, everything falls out. Oh yeah, no, that, that's really good. Blake, you know, well, well, Blake went for a second bite, so either he's questioning it, or he's okay with it. Everybody says it's not bad. Hey, passable. Yeah. Woo, woo. There we go. All right, so now they're they're Chicagoans now. They're you're no longer so you've you've renounced Long Island. You're a Chicago right now, right? Right. Well, hold on. When it comes to New York, we have the better pizza. I will say that. Yeah, we got better pizza. No offense to Chicago, those are fighting words, but I won't get it. It's just not my thing. <laughs> but a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys liked it. Let's go on with the night. Professional YouTuber for the past what, ten years. Yeah, right. Well, I'm here with I'm here with JD Stucks. Jason. Hello. You seem so. You always seem to get this nice smile on your face. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course, of course. So, how has your York experience been so far? It was good. It was a long day uh, of a lot of searching for some stuff for the layout. Right. Right. That I didn't find until the last hour of the show. I think that's everybody's last minute rush. Yeah, I, I found everything at the last minute. Um, I bought. Uh, some switches for the upper level. I got some extra wide tunnel portals. I got some girder bridge strips. Nice. Some smoke fluid. And what scent? This is what uh, judge cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I do the same. I, I won't judge him too hard. And there's there's one engine. I was really close. I was really close to buying it, but I'm gonna wait, see if it's there tomorrow, and see if I can't get a good deal on it. Now, I want you to be honest with this question. Yeah. How much did Chris pick on you today? A lot. <laughs> A lot, because everything I was interested in was Norfolk Southern, <laughs> and I barely, my hands were empty most of the day while they carried around brand new steamers and diesels. Oh my god. And so, yeah, I got made fun of a lot. Well, you know what? Let's get him back tomorrow. I'll try. I'll do my best. All of us should get together on a game with Chris and make sure he uh, goes even more broken here, I guess. Sounds good. That's the plan. <laughs> All right, cool, dude. Well, thank you so much for Thanks, talking Johnny. to me. I'll see, see you ya. later, dude. It is the end of the night, and us three Chicago guys are gonna head back because everyone's really tired. But I know he's he's full energy. I'm totally full of energy. <laughs> but um, it was really fun meeting everybody. Absolutely. Uh, this yep. experience is probably more than any of us could probably comprehend. It's and we scary. and we didn't even go into the best halls yet. So yeah. tomorrow's yep. gonna be really scary. More to come. And lots of, of uh, are going to be on life lots of cool stuff on our adventure here <laughs> to still find. You're right. going to have bullets on life support. <laughs> <laughs> but so all you guys who we met today, uh, whether that be guys we've been friends with or new faces or listeners to your podcast. Yeah. Uh, that was really yeah. cool. Uh, thank you so much. And special thanks goes to George and Wally and also to, to Steve for, for having us at the tailgate. That was a really great way to end the night. So we are headed back to the hotel. So, Good night, everybody. See Bye you everyone. guys.
Good morning, guys. It is Saturday of our, no, Friday, right? Friday, I'm losing track. It's because we got one yesterday. It is, uh, it is Friday of York, and we are about to head back to the fairgrounds. We just left our hotel, and we are all very scared of what's going to come today. No. But Matt, you and I actually had, as you're plugging the address for York, we had a really interesting experience this morning. I did. I did. We met uh, several people who recognized us from either our YouTube channel or the podcast. Nathan Five Chime Blue is one of them. Yep. And then uh, Joe from Philly was another one. Joe from one. Philly. Yep. Joe, Joe was wonderful. He was yep. great to talk very to. Very nice guy. He was. Absolutely. Very personable, very, very cheerful. And yep. It's, it's guys like that that make us feel happy with what we do. It totally is. It's we, kind of uh, it's kind of thrown back by it a little bit. It's kind so. of surreal, but it, yeah. uh, we're, we're, we're both on cloud nine already. I know. <laughs> and we haven't even started buying trains yet. Well, seriously buying trains yet. So, but we got we got our, our goodies. We didn't show them off last night, but we'll show them off by the end of the vlog, so don't worry. And we're going to meet up with everybody else. So on that note, we will see you. We'll see you guys later. At some point. Later. Okay, come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Get us up the hill. Uh, how are we supposed to do that, Matt? <laughs> go, go, go. They're trying to give us some momentum. Giving us some momentum, Jason? Yes. It's a roller coaster. We got to scoot to get up the hills here. Exactly. We got to scoot. <laughs> we're, not used to the, uh, we're not used to all these uh, elevations. No, we come from the land of flatlands, so this is... Yeah, it's like the biggest hill we have is like, yeah, that hill over there, our lawnmower has a bit of trouble going up, but well, that's okay. Wait, we're from the south? <laughs> you know what I mean. Jason's uh, Jason's losing already. He's got, He had too much train fun yesterday, and he's losing his mind. Train fun. Train fun. How fitting, we get to York and we get our, a diesel horn. SD70? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a revoked diesel guy pass. Oh! <laughs> uh, day day two of York. Got the York sign all the way up there, far away out of camera shot because I, I'm bad at cinematography. But are you gents excited? Yes. Yeah. Very excited. Very excited. More diesels for you, Matt? <laughs> I have yet to buy a diesel, but... Uh, oh, you bought... Uh, electric. You bought electric. You. Yeah. I'm gonna buy Polar. I know you wanted to buy Polar. Would you get well, one of those for a good price? I'd rather buy more little things than one big thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to try to get one big-ish thing. I don't want to go home with like a triplex, but something something I can yes, run. Yes, you do. You want to go home with a triplex. Maybe I'll mail. So maybe I bought a tripod. I bought a tripod. <laughs> yeah. I bought I bought three triplexes today. And, well, you uh, have to because it's a triplex. Right? A triple so triplex. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Triple triplex. Yeah. Triple triplex. But we're gonna meet up with all the guys from your favorite YouTube channels. So it's gonna be exciting. Jason's being a former right now. Right, Jason? Huh? Exactly. What? <laughs> I was just telling the lovely, lovely folks that you're just being a foamer right now. I'm not a foamer, I'm still fast. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys when we get to the other side of this. We are here just outside the GFW trailer. Uh, the flag is somewhere off screen because I'm too lazy to go find it. It's right over there. I'm just dumb. But I am here with two or three guys you may recognize. We've got RBP, I Chris, and this weird Amtrak guy. I don't know who he is. I think it's RJ or something. RJ's running away. How are you doing, RJ? I'm doing good. How are you? Glad to finally see you. How are you guys doing? I, I heard you guys had a long night last night with uh... It's just been a busy week. It's you know a week of nothing but trains. So some of us have to work. We just can't take all good train shows all day. Yeah, it would be terrible to be, be that guy or something like that. <laughs> Chris, how was your day at the show yesterday? Because you came here with with Jason. Jason, Jason said you picked on him all day. Well, you know, and again, I have love for all the things that Jason does. I was trying to convince him to buy an engine that was not Norfolk Southern, but <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe maybe you'll break up the monotony of the black and white fleet, even though you guys are both wearing black and white shirts. <laughs> yes, no, that's and I plan. Yes, I have no room to speak, but I've never actually been to a York show. This is my first one, uh, and it's. Me, so. 
and it's been great. I got a lot of a lot of cool things here. I think it's hard when you see it. It's one thing when you're you're browsing, you know, online, and you can easily just kind of move along. But uh, when you, when it's in front of you and, and the piece is, is there, and you think about what it might look like in your collection, or it might be fun to, to roll a video. Oh yeah, I couldn't help myself. So <laughs> we filled the truck up last night. Filled the truck up. We I walked away with some goodies too. I know Matt R is guilty of such. But uh, he, he, he had some stuff too. But uh, yeah, I'm scared of what we'll find today. And we'll have to see. I'm just glad to be here with everybody. Yeah, especially really. this guy. Where are you at? There he is. Yeah, Look at that. I wonder if I put my hair down, if I could do the wave like John. <laughs> do the, the, the hair, hair wave with my the side sweat bangs. I got to see his hair down this morning. Completely different. That, that, With that's a flip. I was shocked. <laughs> you, you thought you woke up at some stranger's house, and I was just putting his like, hair down. This stranger. <laughs> it's all right. Well, we also have GFW trains over here as well, and another familiar face over here. Hi, Steve. How you doing? Steve, I, keep, I, I met a couple of folks today who uh, who've been watching the video, so I bet you they recognize you. They said they they yeah, enjoyed watching. Had a few. Yes, a few? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but. I'm glad we got to see with all these awesome guys, and there's more to come. So we'll catch you guys. All right. So before I get run over by a car by standing in the street here, seems like everybody's here, and it's quite the happening meeting over here outside the GFW trailer. You can see we got Blake and his brothers over there. We got Jason, not not the cool Jason. It's our Jason, unfortunately. We got Sid over here. We got we got the Chris's. <laughs> got Maddie C, got RJ, got Steve back there. Doing um, the vloggy. Oh, speaking of, what's up, Greg? Got Greg, Greg over here. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> just a oh, lumberjack over here. What's up, dude? <laughs> what's up, dude? Greg, Chris, nice to meet you, man. But we're gonna get out of, out of the street here. Don't get run over, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez, geez, Chris, looks like everybody's about to get run over, just, just meeting each other over here. We can't help it. They're, we can't the help. group is growing. The group going is into the parking lot. We're a mass. Look at this. Look at all of us. <laughs> oh, we're here. We got, got Sid. Sid, nice to see you again, dude. Yep. How was your drive? It was good. Look at the dynamic duo, Sid and RJ. RJ wants nothing to do with you. <laughs> but uh, everyone's here. I made my first All right, gents. To the halls. To the halls we go. To the halls. Charge. Charge. York is not ready for us YouTubers. Quote unquote. Not ready for these. No. Look out! I remember we all go all the way back there. Look at the line. We've got a battle line. You of York? Huh? Not Blake. Blake. Okay, you guys are cross cross uh, streaming here. Cross, cross okay. Street. Two cameras in one go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's get, let's get both of them on Maddie to make them really uncomfortable. Uh, I'm fine. I love the attention. You love the attention? <laughs> uh, Time to spend money in my wallet is fine. Yeah. Why are you crying? Greg, where were those other coins? <laughs> Alright guys, we are... We just finished our shopping binge in York. Unfortunately, I can't show as much of it as I would have liked because there are restrictions on filming here at York, but I'm here with Jason, with Matt, and on the other side, we got the Long Islanders from before. Hello guys. I don't know who this guy is. He keeps showing up in my videos. <laughs> but uh, Stalker. we all got some bomber. We got some pretty great stuff. I got a Lina Legacy PA set for a pretty good price. Uh, with uh, I think a couple of freight cars. Jason, what'd you get? I got a Lionel Legacy Burlington S2 switcher and I also got a Lionel TMCC 442s, Northern Pacific steamer. So when we were there. He had the stall, he was buying his switcher. He's like, yeah, I'm a big sucker for CB&Q stuff. The, the vendor picks up this tank car. He's like, well, I got this one. It's like, oh, I already have it, you know, and for, it's like, well, no. Um, but it's like, I don't want it for, the, for that much money. And um, he's like, well, how about for 20 bucks? And Jason takes the 20, he just put back in his pocket, takes it back out, fine, here you go. And pays the guy really reluctantly. How about you? What'd you get, Matt? I got an Atlas O Santa Fe SW switcher, and I got a North Shoreline boxcar. That's really cool. And yesterday I got the uh, that uh, trolley, by Bonds World War II trolley. That's gonna be cool. And then you guys, who wants to step up first? Me. I was easy. I only got a set of cold cars so far. I'm picky with what I'm doing at you. And a 466T yesterday, which everybody knows about, because I Tim Draw McGraw that get it but what you um, taking money yeah so far so good I'm probably gonna look at one more thing before I'm done for the show and uh, yeah so far so good 
How about you guys? Got a suburban tank. Suburban you got one too. It's one. The, the hottest item at York, I swear yeah. to God. Me and my twin brother back here, we put our money together and we bought the Warren G. Harding funeral train by Lionel. Awesome, awesome. I thought about it since yesterday and I'm like, I really want that K4 <laughs> with the E2 tender. So I'm like, all right, I we're just going to buy it. So it's sitting in my car right now. My bank called me. That's how much money I took out. <laughs> yes, and you still owe me money. Yes, I know. <laughs> Worry about that later. I know, oh, I'll make sure you won't forget. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys seem to come with a pretty good haul. They all of us are pretty happy. So we have a little, a lot more time than we expected before we had to go and run our new stuff at Chris's house. So we are actually going to go back to the hotel, freshen up, grab some things, and we'll see you guys hopefully at Strasbourg. Let's go. Alright guys, we are here at the Strasbourg Railroad. You can see uh, the coaches and a Jason who has been foaming this entire time. You are foaming, I'm you are excited. Foaming. Hush, you're foaming. But this is pretty cool. Um, really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. We won't have much time to kind of ride the trains unfortunately, but hey, maybe if we get early, we get done at York early tomorrow. It's not a to. diesel, but it's okay. <laughs> Well, this is really cool. Jason, what do you think, dude? I think it's neat. I really like looking at all this stuff, especially with how old a lot of it is. <laughs> I just really like this kind of stuff. Yeah, no, this is this is, this is pretty cool. And I believe that is 90 up there that we're walking up to. Oh, well, yeah, we're, 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 475. we're gonna try to see the engine. Uh, whether it leaves before we get there or not, we'll, we'll have to see. Look at, see, we got little, little tracks next here for the little railroad. So, yeah, it's gonna be cool. 475. 475. 475. Oh yeah, 475, that's really Ooh, cool. Oh, that's the one from... Let's go look see, guys. Oh, look. It's the one from IRM herself. <laughs> Jason Salty, that IRM, to, uh, they took this, they sold this to IRM, but... Oh no, IRM sold this to Strasbourg, so... Yep. Whatever, technicalities. So, let's hit the engine. But, here, let's take a look see. Look at that. Wow. Let's come to the side, take a look at this part. But that isn't thumbnail worthy, I don't know what is. <laughs> Last minute change of plans, aside from my bangs being out of place. <laughs> we are supposed to head over to Chris's Trains and Things layout at 5.30 today. So, it being, it's a little past 3 o'clock, and it's a 40 minute train ride, we're gonna get on the train. So, I am pretty hyped about that. How about you, Jason? I'm excited about it. You're it's excited? Gonna be a lot of fun. Matt, are you excited to ride the train, dude? I'm always excited to ride any train anywhere. Nah. <laughs> so this is this is gonna be fun. We should probably let Maddie see and the others know we're riding on the train. Yes, we should. So let's do it while we're on the train. While we're on the train. <laughs> so they can be jealous. <laughs> Although they can just come here anytime they I want. Mean, yeah, this is this is this bloody da we live by Strasbourg. Well, we so we so they sort of live by Strasbourg. I know, yeah. I know Chris is literally just Within Chris, the, Chris, Chris, is, Chris within comes the ballpark. on it through his backyard or something. He wakes up, he rolls in, rolls over in his bed, and he's in. He's like, How did I get inside 611's cab? <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, we kid, we kid. So let's uh, let's ride the Strasbourg Railroad, guys. We're outside the station right now, and we got our tickets. Open air tickets. Open air tickets because we thought the best way to experience the Strasbourg Railroad is to see all the sights, sounds. And smells. Absolutely. Jason, you get tickets? Smells like 
It smells like living history. It smells like, it smells like teeth. I'm right here in front of us. Look at this. Look at this. He's smiling. He's smiling. Look who's here. The Long Islanders. Bomerville, huh? Bomerville, USA. Bomerville, USA. Wait, why are we at platform nine and three quarters? Nine and three quarters. No, like seriously, because oh, you're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Johnny. That that they actually have that you're a wizard, Johnny. <laughs> there you go, now I'm demonetized. Copyrights, right. Well, Thanks, I'm sorry, Harry. I can't help it. Can't help it. <laughs> I'm going to record. Don't trip now. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta duck down so much. I gotta, I gotta duck down so... I, I have to... I, you got your ticket, sir? I have, I have to sink down. Yes, I did. You got your ticket? I got my ticket. I'm hoboing this. Sure. Hoboing it. Hoboing it. Hoboing this. Logging on the shuffle there with Johnny, Jason. Can you all? I forget your name. Max. And Max. It's the same name as me, man. Come on. There's too many Max in, 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 within our group, okay? Oh, How are you feeling? This is awesome. Right? This is awesome. Well, yeah. we only know it. Only see mention we have out in Chicago is what? 1631, and that's at the Monticello Railroad Museum. Which is one we have never gone to see either. We need to do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go. Matt and I will go. Jason What the hell? Yeah, because we, we found it, obviously. Exactly. And we, we know everything about the Yeah, museum. I was the one that found it. Jason, Jason, Jason's just salty because he never knew about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Fine. You're not allowed to go because there's trolleys there, Matt. Well, well, you're not going. I Matt go. Matt. There's trolleys. No. <laughs> and, 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 and the Electroliner. CTA cars. CTA. I don't think they have an electric liner though. Wait, where? Well, I'm about to, we're talking about the map. Oh, the Monticello. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Monticello is probably. Well, he's not allowed to go to IRM either. I'm a lot of IRM. He's not allowed. No. <laughs> but this is really cool. I'm I'm really excited. I'm ready to be deafened by uh, 475. Yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty much oh, right she's on top of the Southern Pacific uh, five chime. Oh, Ooh. that's even better for Johnny. Really? Yeah, they just, they, they just put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Wow. Well, maybe I, maybe I should buy a 475 now. I have to go talk to a certain someone about that. You're gonna have to really pressure OJ Strike tonight. To, I'll trade. To I'll trade I'll trade an entire American Railroad Berkshire and cars. He doesn't like Berks. I'll what? trade whatever he bought. Oh. <laughs> he didn't buy much, he bought a gondola, that's it. Greg? Greg didn't buy any, much of anything. I'll get it. No, I'm kidding. We'll see you guys. But, when we'll see you next, the train will be on its way. up right now because of the wind, but I can't really complain because it's a giant Hulk and Steve look button in front of me. Matt, what do you think, dude? That was awesome. Wow. I am like partially deaf, but I can't complain. Jason. Incredible view. It was awesome. Oh, that was yeah. such a whistle go. That is awesome. like right next to the steam engine when it does that. Yeah. Pretty cool. You know, you don't really get that experience at IRM. No, they have a gap car in between most of them. Yeah. Uh, this is this is pretty cool. I am very cool, <laughs> but this is awesome. I love it.
little messed up from the wind, so Blake and I over here are gonna have the weird We're gonna have the weirdest two pays by the end of this. Definitely. You can borrow my brush Yeah, I might take you up on that. My brush is Potato, potato, his stuff is my stuff, and my stuff is still my stuff. No, that is not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Shops. 
We thank you for taking the time to visit and share our love for Old Town Railroading in beautiful Lancaster County. Guys, we are back at the station and got off our train. This was an awesome experience and I'm really glad Happy to have you here, man. To share with all of you guys. This was this is cool. And we weren't originally planning to stop here at Strasbourg, but I'm glad we did. So I hope you guys enjoy coming along. However, this is not the end of our trip. We are headed to Chris's house to run some much, much smaller trains. So we'll see you guys there. Chris's trains and things, and Chris has got such an amazing layout. Just look at all that, and let me tell you guys, it has been an absolute pleasure to be able to run on his layout, and I really can't wait to show you guys all the cool trains we're gonna run tonight. You're gonna love it. Okay. So, without further ado, let's run some trains. What do you think of, of running trains here so far, dude? Yeah, I have been here, I was back here for my birthday back in July, and I don't get bored of this layout. This, Chris has probably one of the most comforting, welcoming layouts in the hobby. It's just such an awesome setup that you can just get up and go, and it's, it's amazing so much. He really set it up to where you can have so much like photo and uh, run by opportunities. Like the gorge scene that's in front of us here behind the camera right. is an awesome shot. Um, but yeah, we're having a great time uh, running all the new stuff we got. Some little spills and, and whatnot here and there, but you know, that's to be expected. But we're not like uh, Adam Gomez, you know, blowing our trains up, so we'll be fine. Like but, a certain, this, is, this is awesome. Like a certain RVP train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't talk about his Pet Shop Express. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, dude. Let's keep going. with me today. Say hi. <laughs> so this is this is Chris's son. What's your name? 
Oh, he's marching in the trains. But if you're hearing talking in the background of a very excited voice, so that's because he's been helping me get all these shots. He actually, sometimes I wonder if he knows this layout better than Chris does. Hi. <laughs> you want to go record more trains? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go record some more trains. So I brought a special thing for Bernsey to run here, and that is the 759 Bird. Bernsey, what do you think of your future inheritance? Oh, it's, it's a good engine. It's a good engine? It's only good? Well, in that case, I'll give it to, I'll give it to Chris. Wait, what am I getting? Uh, if Bernsey says my, my set that I was going to give him when I die, it was only good. So, so you, Johnny's talked about this American Railroad set for a long time. I didn't realize how cool it was until right now. It is the only set, full complete set on YouTube. Are you serious? I'm serious. Exclusivity, everyone. There's another guy who's got a first. This is amazing. Oh, I should just give it to you to feature on your channel, Chris. I'll take it. You don't want to do that. He's going to take it home with that because he's lying to me right now. I mean, I got something else to play with. I would actually, I would genuinely let you borrow that. <laughs> but, Bernsey. What do you think? It's a great idea because it can't just say good. Exactly. What do you like about it? It's blue. It's blue. There you go. Bernsey likes blue engines. He also likes broken engines. That's my second one. Glad Bernsey likes it. chill on this couch here, but I'm going to pull over someone uh, you haven't seen much of today. I got, I got RJ. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, of course, yeah, RJ. Eventful day. Yeah, so how, how much have you enjoyed running on this lane? Chris, oh, is just, Chris is just off screen, so, so you could say it sucked, but he might, he might get it. No, it's, it's great. Uh, one Sid gets the layout, everything runs perfectly. <laughs> I think we had three accidents and one switch catch on fire, and then one Sid shows up, all of our problems are fixed. Yeah, that was nerve wracking so, in the half. Yeah. But you weren't, you weren't the cause for any accidents today. No, I don't run trains, because I don't, I already broke one of Chris's trains, so I'm done doing that now. Yeah, so, but today's been fun. How about you, Jason? How about you, Jason? Did you enjoy running trains today? Yeah, I've been, I've been having a lot of fun. I tested out all my stuff. So I'm happy they all work fine. I would join his like live stream. That's great. No, I'm saying that's perfect. Okay. So that's not understand lingo. What a boomer. Listen here. <laughs> listen here, Whipper Snapper. Listen here, you Snapper. Well. I'm glad we got to hang out, RJ. I never had a properly chance to talk to you, so I'm glad we had so much to do this. It's been great, you know, we've been talking about Lyme for forever now. It's finally great to meet you in person. I'm sure this is the first time you've been talking to you. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. We've been working on a lot of time. Oh yeah.
Chris. Oh, I guess Matt's here. But we gotta change your name to Chris. But lots of Chris's and Matt. Yeah. So what are you guys? How are you guys feeling so far about tonight? How this was going? so for me the chance to sit on a real couch after walking around the halls for two days. I think this is the highlight of my entire trip. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't spend any money here. Oh, you can. Well, unless Chris wants me to buy him pizza. It's true. It was a great day. We had fun. Uh, I bought what I wanted to, and we'll unload that in some videos. And it was great to have everybody over again. Um, just an awesome hobby, awesome camaraderie, and fellowship. It's, it's great. How about you, Matt? It's, it's pretty surreal. I think the best part of this was actually being here, running trains with everybody, and meeting people in person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Matt. Well, <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us over. Thanks for coming, Johnny. Thank you for Johnny. Good to meet you. Thanks for holding the camera so we didn't have to. <laughs> thank you for being you. Thank you. <laughs> and Sid, thanks thank for not you. crashing the car. <laughs> Sid, thank you for fixing my birth, dude. Yeah, I really appreciate no it. So no we're gonna end the night here, but we'll we see. The train. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see you guys tomorrow for day three of York. Yep. Good morning, guys. It is day three of the York train show, and I am here with Jason. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jason. And we have actually just finished our last day of York here. Um, nothing really to show. It's just us going back to all the halls we've been to, and I, I apologize. There really hasn't been that much footage of it, if you manage to stick around to this point in the video. But of course, you can't really film much of York, which is a shame, because it's the highlight of being in the O-Skill hobby. But, we did come away with a couple of cool items today. Now, Jason, I'm gonna let you go first. So, what did you what did you get? I got a Williams Brass K4 with ProtoSound 2 upgrade in it. So I'm really excited to hear that thing on tonight. What if it fries? I'd be upset. That yeah, would be as it. It would be what it is. And it is what it is. Exactly. Um, I actually got a couple of free cars today because I already spent all my money on my my other purchases, which you guys have seen last night running at Chris's house. So. I decided that I would go get hit, hit him where it hurts and go for first my, my good buddy Bernsey we saw last night running the American Railroad set. He loves Pensy, so I got this Pensy weathered hopper. And then I also got something that hurt our friends Sean, Owen and Scale Railroad, and Sid. I got this weathered NW car. Both these for about 35 bucks. And lastly, we have something that Matt bought. So Matt, what did you get, dude? I got this to keep with the theme, <laughs> buy more war bonds, everybody. <laughs> so it's a, uh, a, a semi-painted or weathered buy more war bonds reefer uh, for mobile steam engines. And it will go behind my blue goose. That's gonna be awesome. So yeah, we all got some stuff. Jason got an engine and he's slightly more poor and it makes me very happy. It makes me very, very happy. But um, yeah. We also got to see Zach this morning walking through. So Joker's train. So Zach, if you're watching, I know I didn't get any footage of you, dude, but it was awesome meeting you. And before we got to walk out, I actually got a chance to talk with uh, Norm with Norm, uh, Norm Charbonneau. So Norm, if you're watching this by some odd chance, it was nice to see you again, dude. And it was nice to talk with you. But next, we're going off to where are we going to, Jason? Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. Then we're gonna go head over to Sid. So we'll see you guys on the road. See you there. Now I know We are here in Strasbourg once again today to check out a little aside of trash for those to the Pennsylvania Rare Museum. Now where are we going? Choo Choo Barn. The Choo Choo Barn. So, Choo -choo barn. I'm really excited. I've always grown up seeing clips of this place. I've never been to it, so it's uh it's kind of pretty yeah. surreal. It's going to be intriguing. Yes it is. They have a monorail. A monorail. Ooh. Ooh. And Stry <laughs> Alright, well let's go see what it looks like, guys. We are about to head into Choo Choo Bar. So, through this amazing, oh my, oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Which way do we go? There's so much. That way? Look at all that. So guys, 
What are we thinking so far? It's really cool. It's pretty cool. It's huge. How long the bowls move? It's very like, it's very old school. Definitely worth the price of admission. Oh yeah, especially if you're a TCA member. Six bucks? Can't be bad. gentlemen was the choo-choo barn and that was pretty cool Matt what do you think awesome well worth the money oh yeah for sure and uh, Jason yeah what do you uh what do you think buddy I, I like the choo-choo barn it was kind of nice kind of nice this was uh, built for bigger people to sit in you know what? <laughs> I agree with you dude I agree with you all right so we are gonna go sit down and wait for Maddie Cena Long Islanders, and we're headed to the Pansy Rare Museum. See you guys on the other side. Later, folks. All right, guys, we are at the Pennsylvania Rare Museum, right across the street from the Strasburg Railroad. So Jason has been really wanting to go here. So is Matt. Museums. So what are, you, what are you guys most excited to see here? The Diesel. No, it's just steam. Diesel. Steams are better. Diesel. Steam is better. Diesel. I thought you'd say electric for a second, but no. Electric too. <laughs> you're, you're lying. I'm a fake fan of electric. <laughs> Didn't even say it. I'm just excited to be here, and we're gonna meet up with Maddie C, Blake, and his brothers, and we're gonna actually have a really fun time today. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side when they're here. This is a familiar face. Hi, I've been in your entire vlog at this point. I think we're co-directing me making this vlog together. Almost every vlog I make, he's in it. But oh, don't trip, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be a stupid face on the and then I was tripping. So we're showing them, the Chicago guys, the East Coast, basically the Taj Mahal of everything Pennsylvania Railroad. So you're gonna see GG1s, you'll see K4s. G5s. Yeah, I have. I saw an E8. Don't worry, Maddie C. I have the lowest of expectations. I mean, you're gonna just, you're just gonna spit on everything that's in there. Oh, he's right. Matt, Matt over here is right. Just go up and kiss the E8 at this point. I'm, I'm gonna hug it. I'm gonna make sure they get hugged. Gotta hug these guys. He loves his diesel. But yeah, let's we'll see what cool stuff they got here. This is an accumulation of really beautiful stuff in here. You got uh, 1223, which used to run at Strasburg back in the late 60s, 70s. You got GG1 over there. Uh, 7002 also ran at Strasburg previously. Uh, you're, in, you're in for a treat. You got an H3 over there. Just gorgeous stuff in here. And then, uh, 
with our own little personal tour guide, Here's Maddie the, uh, C. Very passionate uh, about everything that's here. That's really cool to hear all the stories the behind story it. It's a bobber caboose. I can't even. I'm so it's so. We make fun of these things for being small, but like that is huge. It's massive. A lot of cool stuff here. We got some coaches over here too, and then a uh, signal. Hey, that bobber. Don't bash the bobber. Don't bash the bobber. I love the bobber caboose. It's nice to thing. A bobber. A bobber. So, what are you up to, Jason? Just look at the control panel for the interurban. Huh? It's cool. It's actually real neat, right? Yeah, it is. Ever wonder what it's like to go underneath the bottom of a steam engine? Well. Here at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum, we can do that. So, let's go down into what we call the pit. Jason, what? Are you excited to go in the pit? I know you can't see your head right now. Yeah, I'm fine. Right now, Jason's a talking shoulder. Hold on, hold on. There he is. There's Jason. Well, here, take a look, see at this, guys. Look at that. So, that's the steam engine right there we saw up there, upstairs. And you can go directly underneath it. This is, this is, a, this is a shot you don't see very often. Take a look at that. So we're here. There's the bottom of the coupler. And this is the bottom of the tender. The guys over there are foaming over the other side, which we will join them in doing in just a second. Take a look, see at that, guys. Look at those eccentric rods, valve timing rods. Look at that. This is a marvel of a mechanical engineering right here. Absolutely breathtaking. I think this is 1887. Yeah. Oh, Why do cool. I still have this on? Yeah. I'm asking Matt. Matt, I like the answer of the engine, but where are the pickup rollers, man? It's not part of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. It's a fake steam engine. Give them to me and I'll install them. Install the pickup roller. Well, what are they about this big? Well, yeah, about that big. We'll call Sid. Sid can do it. Yeah, upgrade, upgrade. Sid, can you upgrade the steam engine? Upgrade to three rail, thank you. I like your <laughs> museum for any classic Pensy fans or Lionel post-war fans. You got the GG1. And this thing is massive. Holy cow. Look at that. Whoa. This number? 49.35. That's an awesome thing. It's just huge. Just hoping I can't even get a full shot of it just walking. So let's get a full shot of that. For early diesels. Can't get rid of that. Look at that. It's just all business. Unapologetically utilitarian, but somehow very elegant at the same time. Can't go wrong with the Jeep. So we have one more diesel coming up for you. Now, this is one that Matt's been very excited for. And these are the Pennsylvania oh E units. Isn't that cool? Now, the business end, it's not front. I want to have Matt give me his live reaction when he sees the front of this E-Unit. Right, Matt? Oh, I'm ready. He's ready. <laughs> All right, Matt, let's go see. Let's see. Let's take a walk see. Let's go, let's go, let's go look-see together here, dude. Wow. Jeez. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, let's see if I can get the whole thing in, in camera shot here. Whoa. Matt's, Matt's so happy. Look at him. His baby now. <laughs> He's adopted it. Is that your baby? Matt, what are you gonna name it? I just D E D A. Where are you gonna get the big diaper? What, what, are you, what are you gonna name it, Matt? This is your baby now. Uh, big red. Big, big red. Big I red. Like I like it.
Here is another awesome piece here at the Pennsylvania Rare Museum. We have behind me the John Bull. And this thing, if you like classic early steam, can't get better than this. Now this is a replica, but just take a look at how awesome this thing looks. Just the color. Look at this, look at this fucking cow catcher. Just, oh my god. It's huge. engines and cars. Now, this is out in the yard of the Pennsylvania Rare Museum. There's a lot of cool items out here. Got a K4 out there. Just, just behind me. Or at least I believe it's a K4. If not, I know you Pennsylvania guys will crucify me. But uh, yeah, this, this uh, got a bunch of cool stuff around here. Look at that. Awesome. I'm a little bit hungry right now. How about you, Matt? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. hungry. Well, it's okay, because you know why? Because we got the snack car cut, the snack bar coach. Alright, we'll get one. <laughs> I want pretzels and They might be here since the 1980s, though, so we'll, we'll see. But isn't that cool? Electrolyte. So, hey guys, so we're at the gift shop, and here I'm here with Joe. Joe. Nice to see How you. How are you, John? I'm doing good. So Joe's a viewer of the channel. He's also a, a big fan of the Matt Matt Oskill podcast, this guy back here. But I wanted to feature Joe here because it is folks like him who make the stuff, stuff that we do all worth while. Thank you very much. It was a great show, and it's great to finally get out and play with some trains. <laughs> well, thank you again, Joe, for being uh, on the Nice show. meeting you guys. Take care. Mm -hmm. After going to the Pennsylvania Rare Museum, we headed to Sid's place to go run trains and hang out with our East Coast train buddies. House of it's right, Sid. Hey guys. Hey Sid, thanks for having us hanging out, man. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, actually, we kind of all broke in. We all were like, you know, <laughs> we're tired of, of having to go to different places for your break into Sid's house. You know, I got got Chris and RJ, Maddie C. We got Steve, and we all came here to rob Sid. Yeah, we're <laughs> taking this entire wall. <laughs> I got dibs on the oh, A2 bird. A2 bird. Steve, what are you taking? No, we're fighting for that. <laughs> Steve's like, I want nothing to do with this. Yeah, yeah. I'll take 1604. Though. I had one of the dealers approach me today with, uh, you know, the uh, New York Central there, and he goes, it's really a good deal and whatnot, and I said, I had it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> He's not sorry. You know, uh, I love it. It's great. It was, <laughs> first is bubble. We thought he had a sale. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have a fun night here at Sid. So, so this is what I come along with us, guys. <laughs> Enjoy it on the layout. 
it sounds fantastic. Like, I, we've got we got Matt over here too. Matt, how are you been liking it, man? Oh, I think it's awesome. Uh, especially like first generation diesels are uh, really kind of like my favorite type of engine. This and the Pioneer Zephyr are just like the top of my list. Uh, sounds great, looks great. Uh, would like to have them one day. I'm in a same boat. These are beautiful. Can you believe this? This is in Chicago, and this is in our backyard. We didn't even bother to ask, you know, Tim, can you run in? Mowing all the steam puts on the track, all of us are like, oh man. <laughs> Steve got it fair and square. That's that one. It's great. So we'll show you guys some footage of that running. But Steve, thank you again. Thank you. So we've been talking about these goodies you've been getting, but we've never shown what it is. What is that? Some kind of some kind of like candy bar this, interaction or something like that? It is an MTH PS2 by Warbonds trolley, and it has all the Washington DC stops. Washington DC, I guess it's a big city. We'll let it slide. It's not Chicago. Uh, somewhere around it's here. It's not huh? Chicago. It's not Chicago. Nah. <laughs> cool dude yeah it's pretty cool i like it i'm a big fan of trolleys you've been sticking with the bicentennial theme too as well it, or the Amer americana it, 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 it fits the americana scheme correct yep that's right it's just a crappy <laughs> 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 The little lady has fallen. Yep. Take a special moment to thank. What's your name, Sid or something? Yeah, the Sid yeah. guy. Sid know. man. Yeah. Sid. <laughs> Sid's trucks or something. Yeah, Sid's <laughs> trucks. No, but seriously though, Sid, thanks dude for having us hang out here. It was awesome. Time. It was all about just hanging with you guys, and of course getting to meet more of you in person. This was awesome. New York was an amazing experience, and just getting to hang with you uh, was. Totally worth it. I could care less about getting new trains. It was all about hanging with you guys, and I'm glad you guys came over and ran trains on Vlad. We just had a great time. Oh, yeah. And for us Chicago come on, come on, come on, Matt, get back there. Come on, gotta get the, get the Chicago guys. We all had a blast. Yep. I didn't get slapped. <laughs> Sid, fix that. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not the end of the night. Not yet. slap free and. Yeah, here. Steve, get on the side with us. Okay. We get everybody. We get everybody. So, from all of us here, we want to wish you guys a wonderful rest of your day. Merry and Christmas. Merry Christmas, I suppose, <laughs> if you're watching it then. And I hope you guys enjoyed our 2021 York Adventure. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next Take one. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye.
This was an absolutely unforgettable trip, and the memories are something I will cherish forever in my heart. A special thanks goes out to everyone in the YouTube train crew for being such awesome friends and for really making this trip special. I'd like to thank Chris and Sid for opening up their layouts for us to run on and for giving us a place to relax after the show. I'd also like to thank GFW for the food and fun during the tailgate. Steve, thanks again for busting your butt on the grill that night to feed us all, and I'm so glad we were able to hang out again. Another thanks goes out to Jason, Chris, and RJ. You guys gave us so many laughs that weekend, and I'm so glad we were able to meet each other in person. I'd also like to thank Maddie C and the Long Island guys. You guys made Strasbourg an unforgettable experience for us, and it was one of the highlights of our trip. And to all the great folks who reached out from the YouTube audience, it was really humbling to get to meet you all, and it's thanks to you guys that I'm able to make videos like this and go on these great adventures. Last but not least, thank you to my travel companions Matt and Jason. I couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to travel with, and you guys made York a thousand times better for me. I can't wait for what the future has in store for us. Thank you everyone for watching. I know this was a long one, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I have more coming down the line, so subscribe to the channel. Once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video.